video coming from TikTok has shocked the internet. It's probably on TikTok. I'm going to show you the source of it. Of a lady who was one of the actors in the popular film. So they, like all the guys that you see on here, still have careers. But one of the individuals was in the film that you might have slightly forgotten by the name of Cindy, who acted as Tzotzi's mother, uh, has been spotted in the city. Uh, I think this looks like the Yeovil area. I'm not sure. She was spotted in a video, and she goes to say some wild stuff. Strict reality show with daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time over here, be sure check out some other videos that are down in the pinned comments, and I'm going to check you out over them. All right, and so... The video was posted on TikTok. So if I may show you the profile that actually posted it, it's this one right here, Splendor Boss. Uh, she's a Nigerian makeup artist in South Africa. She shows her number there. Ah, show me your eyes. Yes. My yes. eyes, they shake you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I have the clients. The girl, she came from Midran at, or something, yeah. My baby, when, when I come with products, I say I don't Forget drink. about products. I don't know you before. But when she saw you, she said, I saw her well sitting here. Oh, you know, you yes, I her. remember. Yeah. I came here and she said, said you're I... a celebrity. What happened? Uh, but it's well. Such is life, baby. Don't worry. I asked God. Yeah. I had everything from her age, 22 years old. For real. Age. For real. I had my car, my, my apartment. My businesses, everything, but I was not happy. They killed my family because of my money. Sure. I was earning 52,000 okay. rand okay. in two weeks. It's okay. And I said, God, please take it all. I want to be like everybody. It's God yeah. took it to say, I crying? want to. Should I post you? Should I record you and post you? Doesn't matter. You, you might get help. No, I don't need help. Can I get a hold, please? God. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. It's I love okay. you. When I, I say love I love you, I mean it. It's okay. You are also a star in your own way. Um, I mean, like, I saw some articles here that that kind of give this idea, ex-girlfriend, what nuts and stuff. And she did appear on a show uh, concerning that and actually... Uh, they do kind of have a thingy of her, like a couple of pictures of her and Brenda. I guess they were, yeah. And so, and also on the cast thingy, like if you looked up images concerning people that were on the cast, she is there right at the bottom, right? And so, out of that role, you know, uh, you you may have like an amazing character and, you know, you have people that motivate you or inspire you and stuff like that. And out of that, it births people or it you, you are seeing people who in their struggles, they meet this part here where it just goes and you just don't find it again. And what I mean is fame is an illusion. You know, fame is an illusion. Like right now, with social media, it, it just shows you that social uh, fame just means absolutely nothing. Now, I'm not downplaying people's hard work and whatnot and stuff like that. No, no, no. You, you're hearing the wrong thing. What I mean is to re do realize there's more to life than being known. These are the things, you know. You remember if you listen to the parable of the seed. So uh, you'll remember the Bible says other the other the other one was was picked up, the birds of the air. It didn't have much, actually it says it didn't have because it didn't have much earth, it withered away. It's a sign of different people's lives at different places, right? Not to say that struggle doesn't come. Struggle comes, but how you fashioned your life up until that moment determines what one becomes after that. You know, some people cannot survive after that. And that's why I want to do an identity session, uh, a couple of sessions on identity. And I think it's quite an important 
uh, thingy. We'll probably start it by next week. So you're out there, you want to, uh, you think that's where you stuck at, you know? Person who's supposedly now struggling with an ancestral spirit, all those kind of things that bring confusion. Uh, you know, feel like you've lost purpose or you, you've just, you're just merely existing. That session is going to be made particularly for that. It's it there. Yeah. So do contact me on that number and I'll add you in that particular group. It reminded me of a verse in Ecclesiastics. And this is what it says. Vanity of vanity, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. What profit has a man of all his labors, which he has under the sun. One generation passes away and another cometh. And so you realize that life goes on. You know, to, to seek to be popular or to seek to be known or to seek to have this, you have to keep in mind you're here, you're gone. The eye is not satisfied with seeing. Not the ear of hearing. You're never going to hear to a point where you're like, okay, I've heard it all. There's, there's, you're always going to continuously want to hear other things. I think it's in realizing this, realizing our mortality that we start to value the right things. You know, if you value political agendas or you, you value whatever agenda that they sell you, uh, you can be led into a deception or you can be led into falsehoods to value the wrong things. If we value our relationship with God or the identity that we have with God, that gives value in eternity. So not only does it give us value in being here, but it gives us value in eternity. Right? But then should one seek a life to self-identify or to just go around, you will get into all kinds of the stuff. Is, it's, it's just here and it's gone. It's just here and it's gone. We'll have it now. So if you hang your hands, you, you are like a hanger in the, in the water up there. So you forget in a heartbeat. Even those that had sown that they were they had reached the peak. They too found that there was a bottom even at the peak. You know? They found that there was a bottom right at the top of their peak. There is one particular story in the Bible where he talks about, where Jesus talks about the man that gathered all that he needed. He gathered wealth. He gathered what? And he thought, now I'm made. Now I've stored and I will have abundance. And the day when he, dis when he had finished storing and he felt like he had enough, the Bible says, you fool, this night is your soul required of you. Which means because he missed the, in he, he missed the most important thing out of the gathering is not it. You'll have to lose it. If we don't learn that lesson and we continue allowing life to continue flood us with whatever comes with it. You become overwhelmed. You become, so because you're constantly taking without digesting and having a, a settling point, these things will overtake. They will overtake. Can't dodge these things. One must answer what he is concerning these things. Materialism, that's why the Bible says he, it sprung up and because it had no roots, when the sun came, it withered away. It withered away because it had not been rooted. In doctrine, it had not been rooted. And so when life's challenges come, it's completely sweeping away. We find value in God and in that relationship. We can create relationships and in all these other areas. When these relationships fade, which they can fade, if my relationship, my ultimate relationship is with my partner, should my partner not be there, then what happens to my... If my my relationship with my friends is what makes me... What happens when she's when the friends are not there? My, 
if my 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 identity is in my work what happens when my work is not there if my ident- so if we identify with things that are that are fading that's what we mean by fading if we identify with things that are fading we can create a problem story is just a reminder to say person that had it and in a heartbeat she was in the films in the what you know i think i saw a a a biography and stuff like that that kind of spoke about her and, and and stuff and it kind of like was crediting some of the work she did work in zone uh, zone 14 sbc uh she was in backstage in 2006 uh and then also appeared in Tsotsi and uh, and some other roles that then she then played later on including uh Yizo Yizo there and 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 and, and the likes 2000 thing she was also in Rhythm City and 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 stuff and also appeared in Mzansi Magic's uh Telenovela I think that's the name of the TV show or something like that she's been in all these roles and I mean Uh, you can kind of like see in all the characters that she has played and in all the places where you go, where you you'll see her and in a heartbeat she's on the street she's just like everybody else and so identity is very important we find it in god who is the creator if you find it in all these other you create problems Tell me your thoughts is the reality show with daily Christian commentary videos other episodes down to the be down in the pin comments and I'm gonna check you out over there